Hello everyone and welcome back to YouTube channel Ashi Talks. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about how you can prepare for Infosys recent exam. So there, Infosys is conducting exam for two job roles. First is DSE and second is SP. So we will talk about everything in details like how you can prepare for those exam. What is the exam pattern? Okay, how you can crack the exam? What are the resources to prepare? So we will talk about everything in detail. So I recommend you to please watch this video till the end so you get all the information. Okay, as you can see on the screen, it is our YouTube channel and I regularly post about job opportunities. So I recommend you to subscribe to YouTube channel and there is guys particularly there is a dedicated telegram channel for 2022 batch candidates. Okay, so if you are from 2022 batch, please go to the description and uh, join our telegram channel. Okay, for regular updates and for regular resources. Okay, so let's get started to the video. Okay. So guys, in this video, we are talking about DAC, that, that is Digital Specialist Engineer and Specialist Programmer. Okay, so we will talk about everything in details about that. Here you can see, we can we will talk about how to start preparation for DAC and SP role at Infosys. What is the pattern and syllabus for the exam and what are the best resources you can prepare from. Okay, so we will talk about everything. Here you can see on the screen, first of all, first is there are Infosys is providing two job roles. Okay. First is specialist programmer that we call as SP. Uh, it is earlier known as power programmer also. Okay. And in, in, in this particular job role, Infosys is providing eight LPA package. So guys, eight LPA package as a fresher is an amazing package. So I recommend you to please prepare for this exam and crack this exam. Okay. And the second role Infosys is providing that is digital specialist engineer and the package for digital specialist engineer is 6.25 LPA. Okay. So there are two job roles Infosys is hiring for, but there is only one exam on the basis of your performance, they will give you a particular role. Okay. So let's see further. What is specialist programmer and Infosys? So what is power programmer or specialist programmer in Infosys? So here we can see it is an internal programmer of Infosys who would work as a full stack developer on their next generation transformation initiative. Okay. So as you all know, the, uh, the, if you are selected for a power programmer job role, they will give you like, uh, they will give you work on basis of trending technology. So trending technologies you have to work on. Okay. So as a first step, Infosys will, Infosys will filter out the student on the basis of their technical expertise and passion for coding. Okay. So guys, if you have passion for coding, if you have good knowledge in coding, if you are, if you have technical expertise, they will, Infosys will hire you. Okay. On the basis of online coding test and interview. Okay. So there are, uh, first of all, there will be online coding test and second, second, there will be interview and then train the selected candidates on technologies as per the business requirements. Okay, so first of all, they will they will filter you on the basis of test and interview and afterward they will train you on the basis of their business requirements. Okay, so you have to work on the trending technologies on very good projects. Okay, so specialist programmer is an amazing job role. So I recommend you to please be prepared for the exam and crack the interview and exam. Okay, so here you can see exam pattern for SP and DAC role. So guys exam pattern, what is the exam pattern? There are multiple rounds. First of all, first round is coding test. In the coding test, there will be three questions. Okay. So there will be three coding questions. You have to solve those three questions and the duration provided for that three coding questions are 180 minutes. So guys, there are, there are three coding questions and duration is 180 minutes for, for, and you can say one hour for one coding question. Okay. And after the coding question, there will be a technical interview. So if you crack the coding test round, you will be uh, invited for technical interview. Okay. But if you don't, if you didn't qualify for the coding test, you will not be invited for technical interview. Okay. So there, there will be three coding questions. Okay. Let's see in details. Okay. Infosys pro power programmer coding test. So guys power programmer online coding test consists of three questions. So as I have told you, there will be three questions, which you have to be solved in 180 minutes. Th that, that is three hours. Okay. In three hours, you have to solve three coding question. All coding question belong to different topics and will have one hard, one medium and one easy question. Okay. So there will be three coding question and all the uh, question belongs to different, different topics. Okay. So you have to prepare all the topics. I will tell you in details, like which are the most important topics and what you have to prepare and how to prepare. Okay. So there will be one hard question, one medium question and one easy question. Okay. So there are uh, diff difficulty level is also divided like one easy, one medium and one hard. Okay. And you can see you have to clear all the test cases in order to get to the interview round. Okay. So there is no as such cutoff mentioned by the Infosys, but uh, as, as I have no, like you have to clear all the test cases, at least clear 
if you if you clear all three coding question you will get power programmer job role that is 8 lpa package and if you crack if you if you solve two coding question you will get 6.25 lpa package that is digital specialist engineer okay so i recommend you to solve as much as possible there are three coding question at least you have to solve two coding question okay then definitely you are selected okay for and you are shortlisted for interview okay so please please be prepared and the next thing is okay we will talk about next thing okay what after that okay so we will talk about resources like how you can prepare okay before preparing uh, we will talk about some details like how to prepare and what are the questions okay so we will talk about questions also so here you can see on the screen the infosys power programmer coding question will mostly be based on concept of data structure and algorithm okay so all everything will be based on dsa so uh, if you are strong in dsa this uh, this will be helpful to you okay so various topics that will be asked in uh, coding round that is dynamic programming definitely there will be one question uh, from dynamic programming okay so uh, if you don't know dynamic programming please learn that dynamic programming and be prepared for the exam and the second thing is greedy algorithm so definitely there will be one question of medium difficulty level from greedy algorithm and from dynamic programming there will be a difficult question okay so tough question from dynamic programming and medium difficulty level from greedy algorithm and the other are backtracking linked list trees and graphs and all sorting algorithm okay so these are the types of question topics uh, from which infosys infosys generally ask questions okay now the next thing is we can see on the screen like uh, what are the difficulty level and how they will ask okay so questions according to the difficulty level okay so we, uh, questions according to difficulty level i have like uh, filter questions according to the difficulty level for you candidates okay here you can see easy coding question for easy coding question there will be a topics from arrays strings stacks and queues okay from these topics there there will be an easy coding question and anyhow you have to clear this coding question okay okay because easy coding question is a one coding question and uh, there is a equal weightage for all the coding questions so please crack this uh, please clear this coding question okay this topics are easy array string stacks and queue i hope you will prepare i will tell you resources also so you can prepare from there and the second is medium coding question for medium difficulty level there will be question from greedy algorithm so as i have told you greedy algorithm uh, there definitely there will be a question from greedy algorithm so please be, be prepared for that and the third is hard coding question so from hard uh, from difficulty level hard there will be coding question in dynamic programming field okay so if you don't know about greedy, greedy algorithm and dynamic programming simply search on youtube like simply search greedy algorithm and second word you can search dynamic programming there will be multiple options bunch of options for you so you can watch any of the video and definitely they will explain you how you can uh, like what is greedy algorithm and they will explain you each and everything from that so like youtube is an amazing source to prepare so please uh, if you don't know anything simply search on youtube and you will get results for it okay so there will definitely there will be question regarding greedy, greedy algorithm and dynamic programming so you have to prepare uh, questions from these two topics okay so you can search on youtube for particular preparations and after we can see what are the resources okay so resources to prepare there are multiple resources that are available okay first of all i preferred geek for geek platform okay so geeks for geeks is an amazing platform amazing website if you want to prepare for anything you can simply go to geeks for geeks and learn there okay and the second is youtube channel as i have told you previously there are multiple youtube channel simply you have any doubts regarding any topic simply search on youtube and you will get bunch of result and and you can prepare from there okay and the third is java t point website so guys java t point is also an amazing website uh, i prefer java t point website for interview preparation okay i have provided you resources from java t point website also uh, i highly recommend you to prepare from geeks for geeks website i i will give you resources also links also okay and the uh, and the last is hacker hacker rank and hacker rank okay so if you have if you have to prepare okay and if you have to practice you can uh, you can use these two platforms like hacker rank and hacker earth to prepare and perform okay so these are the resources that from where you can prepare for the exam so guys here you can see on the screen there is a website for geeks for geeks okay so uh, i will link this in description so if you have any doubt simply go on geeks for geeks website there are multiple topics mentioned like analysis of algorithm searching and sorting greedy algorithm dynamic programming other string algorithm backtracking 
divide and conquer so there are multiple topics from that which you can prepare okay graph algorithm bit algorithm okay so simply go on this website i will link in description okay and there if you want to prepare simply click on that and there are multiple questions available for preparation okay so you can prepare from here also uh, here you can see for searching algorithm you can refer this for like uh, sorting algorithm you can refer this and for uh, greedy algorithm you can refer this okay here you can see they have mentioned in details okay so geeks for geeks an amazing website as i have told you earlier they will explain you everything from a to z okay so it is a good website to prepare to refer from okay and here you can learn about dynamic pro dynamic programming also okay so you can use this websites for your preparation so guys i hope all everything has been clear for you if you have any doubt regarding uh, exam preparation resources you can ask me in the comment section below and there will be link for our telegram channel and instagram id so you can connect with me on instagram and telegram also and clear your doubts so guys thank you for watching this youtube youtube video if you find this video useful please hit the like button okay thanks